Sanya is once again the host city for the 68th Miss World Final. The forever tropical paradise welcomed 118 delegates from around the world. Welcome to Sanya! And we kicked off with a parade at the Mangrove Tree Resort, featuring the contestants in their dazzling national costumes. There's all the different ethnicities of Trinidad and Tobago. So we have the Chinese, the Indian, the African, and a bit of Spanish as well mixed in there just for good measure. This tropical island has so much to offer, and our first stop was the stunning ecotourism rainforest at Yenoda. Say hi to the world, hi! Say Miss World. Ah. We crossed this beautiful mist-filled valley via suspension bridge, and then took the zip line back again. So good, oh my god, I'm like shaking because I'm so nervous but it's so exciting. An amazing start and a truly magical experience with breathtaking views. Well, we've explored the rainforest, crossed wobbly bridges and it's all been worth it because this view is spectacular. Beautiful view. Next, we moved on to the Sanya Romance Park, themed to offer a glimpse into the lives of the Lee and Miao people and their culture. Today, myself and the contestants have come to Romance Park. This is the cultural hub of Sanya. They have street food, they have games, they have market traders. Let's go get stuck in. It's truly made of candy. Oh, oh, <laughs> Ladies, I hear you've been learning a bit about the shrine behind us. Yeah. Can you tell me a bit about it? Well, this mine behind us makes people's dreams come true. So if you want to get some boyfriend or girlfriend, you have to come into here, uh, turn on and the incense. It's a very lucky place for them. And they say that if you come here with a wish and you pray for it. Do you guys have any wishes you want to make? Yes. yes. Sure. Yeah. Should we go make some? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Whilst at the park, we happily stumbled upon the actual romance festival, where tradition has it that ladies are wooed and carried away by would-be suitors. It seems like Belarus is quite the catch. We're just hoping she makes it back in time for the final. It looks like what was a tame day of sightseeing has yes. turned, into, it's turned into a street party, but I don't think the girls are complaining. Our grand tour also took us to Wu Chichu Island, just off the coast of Yalong Bay. The sign there said, welcome to Wu Chichu Island. Did you guys see it? Yeah. It's so cool. It's a lush tropical hideaway with white sandy beaches and coral reefs. We were all warmly welcomed and our hosts put on a high octane display of activities in this little bit of paradise. Welcome to so what better way to finish off our trip than a day on the beach and a moonlit barbecue? Ah, it's a tough life in Sanya.